that's fantastic. Okay, so I, um, yeah, I along with I'm sure plenty of people look at you as a role model. You, uh, I, I, I want to be, I, I am already on the path of uh, being a trainer mm -hmm. and, and consulting and training people and this is what I want to do like till, right till my last breath and I'm a professional where I can do that. Yes. So when I look at you, I get very motivated and say, okay, uh, this is this uh, uh, this gentleman is a very inspiring figure in my life, and it just motivates me and convinces me that I'm on the right path. Thank you. So I was wondering if you could tell us something about uh, your philosophy of happiness, or generally some personal views about uh, the kind of life that you lead. Well, I've done uh, programs at my house with retiring executives, and. Um, these are people who are very distinguished, and the topic is now what are you going to do? Now what? Which is not an easy question. If you've been the head of Walmart or the president of the World Bank or CEO of Ford, the question what are you going to do next is not an obvious or easy question. And you're probably not going to be playing bad golf with old men at the country club while eating chicken salad sandwiches and discussing gallbladder surgery. So you really need to think what matters. We've come across five things that matter in life. One is health. If you don't have health, the rest of the stuff is kind of irrelevant. Number two is wealth. Wealth matters less than you might imagine. Uh, most research on wealth has shown that if you have a middle or upper middle class income, there's really beyond that no correlation between wealth and happiness. So once you have your basic needs taken care of, wealth is not really that critical in terms of happiness. Then the next thing is it's great to have positive relationships with people that you love. That's very important. Assuming that you do have middle class income or above, that you um, are healthy, and you have good relationships with people that you love, what matters? Two things, happiness and meaning. And really, what we've learned is you need both simultaneously. Um, you need to do work that provides you with meaning, and you need to do work that makes you happy. And nobody can define happiness for you but you, and nobody can define meaning for you but you. Those have to come from the inside. And to the degree you get both at the same time you win. If you just try to do things that make are fun, but no meaning, it's empty. It's empty. You're stimulating yourself, but if there's, it's empty. There's no meaning. On the other hand, if you achieve meaning without enjoyment of the process, you're a victim or a martyr. You're miserable. So the essence of, of having that great life is simultaneous happiness and meaning. And what what is happiness and meaning for you? The training world might be a wonderful world for you, as it for me. Doesn't mean it would be for everyone, though. Right. So I love my job. I don't have to work. Why am I here? I'm here because I love doing what I do and have no desire to ever retire. Fantastic. Yes. Fantastic.